everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's unboxing and review is Universal Monsters Frankenstein. This one is in the colored version from NECA Toys. And yeah, I've had this for a while. I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it. But um, yeah, I want to thank you all for tuning in to watch your review. And I hope you enjoy it. And I also hope you all have a great day. And here's a quick shot of the inside of the box. And here he is out of the box with his accessories, and I'll get right into showing you a close-up of everything. So here he is. You can tell that this is the color version because he does have like a bit of a green tinge to his face. And um, if it gets close enough, you can tell like... Uh, he has little scars and stuff that have, like, blood detail. Um, it's not super saturated with color. It's a little washed out, um, because that is how it looked when they colorized the film. But, yeah, you could see that little, like, line across his head. I was not crazy about that, but it still looks good. But, yeah, his suit looks great, and, like, there's a bit of a, um, kind of a wash over it to make the wrinkles kind of stand out and yeah that's that's one piece um but it, it looks like it's buttoned so that was a nice detail and his hands yeah the the everything looks good the detail on this is really well done and some articulation here so he's not an overly articulated figure because, I mean, it is Frankenstein. But, um, yeah, you can, like, he, that's a pretty good, uh, split that he does. And, yeah, that way too. And, like, I showed the knees. Uh, his feet don't really move. His arms do, which I'll show you. His elbows bend. And I did show a little bit earlier how his hands, his hands move freely. Um, yeah, and they go up, like, forward and back. And the same on the other side. Yeah, like I said, he's not overly articulated, um, but, you know, the, that's basically what you expect from I mean it's Frankenstein but yeah he looks I think he's he's just right and they get the look right right on well so I'm very happy with that and yeah I was actually surprised at how much they had his head articulate and he actually stands on his own he's a pretty hefty figure and get into some of his accessories. So this is an alternate head. And it's kind of like a, a smirk face. And yeah, the, this is detailed very well. It's very movie accurate. And this one doesn't have that line across the top of the head. So that, that does look better on this one. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, I like I like how this I like how that face looks. And here is his other alternate head. This is like him trying to this is him smiling. And um yeah, looks good. There's a kind of a weird spot on the side here where like a piece of plastic kind of sticks out. It, it can be easily removed though without ruining it. So yeah, just a couple of errors on the on the hair on this figure. Nothing major at all. But yeah, I like the details, his his mouth, everything looks realistic, so I was happy with that. And we'll get into his alternate hands. If I can get it to focus, there we go. And yeah, very, very well detailed. I don't know what I'm doing with that, but yeah. And um, his couple of other hands. He's doing the Italian hand. 
or a pinch of salt, I guess, either way. And then this hand. Yeah, I, I just, I love the details in this. He, it's, it's great looking. And then this is a cool little detail he comes with, these, these flowers. Because that scene where he's with the little girl. I love that. I love that they put that in there because that's, that's a really good scene in the movie. And his chains. Now, these don't open. You take the hand off and then you put them on the wrist and then you put the hands back on. And that's how they attach. And here's some poses that you can get them in. It's kind of a basic pose, you know, with the chains on. And here's one with that flower from the scene with the little girl. I had to I had to do this one. And here's another pose. And as you can see, uh, his arm is out from his body. I forgot to put that in with the articulations that his arms do come out from his side. But yeah, I, I am very happy with this figure. I think it's very well made. He's sturdy. And um, his are, his legs are the same length, so that's a plus. But yeah, I want to thank you all for stopping by to watch this review. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.